Welcome back. May is officially Options Education Month at TD Direct Investing. And last week, we spoke with senior client education instructor Brian Rogers about the basics of call options. In the second part of our series, Brian is back, and he's speaking with Greg Bennell uh, uh, about other option strategies and ways they can be used by investors. Let's have a listen. Brian, last week you showed us a simple example of a call option. What are we looking at this week? Well, I wanted to expand on some additional ways that options can be used. You know, it's, uh, it's common to own stocks, uh, ETFs, mutual funds in your portfolio, but many don't know how or why you would use options. So um, there are a number of different strategies that, as I had mentioned, there's up, down, and, and sideways movements you can look at. Um, so adding options can do a number of things. You can create options to uh, opportunities to profit. You can generate income, but you can also protect a position in your portfolio. And that's the one I want to talk about today, because I think it's relative to today's market. If you're a little bit worried um, about what's happening with a position, or sometimes even you can uh, protect your portfolio in some ways as well, um, you can actually, if there's going to be uh, anticipation that the market is moving downward, you can use a certain type of option to protect that position. Okay, now you know we're curious, how do you do that? Well, I knew you'd ask, Greg. So I, as I mentioned, you know, there there is those opportunity to profit like we talked about last week with a call option what we're looking at today is a put option so protecting an unrealized profit maybe if you've already bought a stock let's say if you bought a stock at twenty dollars now it's at forty dollars and you're hoping that if it does dip down you want to still keep some of that profit there is a way to use a put option that's going to give you the guarantee now to lock in a sell price so you're able to sell that stock at a certain strike price i know we talked about last week we, we have that ability to lock in the buy price a put option, so you have the name call. Think of that as call up. You're hoping that the stock's going to go way up. Put down if you think that your uh, possibly your own position is going to drop significantly and you want to lock in that price to be able to sell it at a certain price. You can use a purchase of a put option. And, uh, you know, it's almost like buying insurance in a way. Um, you're going to be, you know, basically paying a premium to the, the person that's selling that option. And they're like the insurance company. They're going to guarantee that you, they'll allow you to sell that stock at the higher strike price. That's funny, Brian. When I took the securities course, that was actually my, my rhyme scene, call up or put down. So, so explain to me a bit further what you're doing when you buy that put option. Yeah, well, just going back to that insurance example again, you know, if you think of insurance, when you pay, say, for your house, if you pay $500 in premium, it's, maybe it's more expensive these days, could be $2,000, $3,000, depending on your home. It's a lot less than paying, you know, six hundred thousand dollars to replace your home if you have a fire or some type of uh, catastrophe or something like that. You're paying this smaller amount, the smaller premium or fee, which is the same thing you would do with an option. You can pay that smaller fee to lock into that price, and if the stock drops way below that locked-in price you have, you can exercise your right to sell that stock at that that locked-in price you had. So, puts can protect your existing portfolio from significant losses. And um, you can also even use it, you know, you can use index options in some cases to protect maybe the whole portfolio if you think there's going to be just an overall drop in the market as well. All right, we got a pretty good understanding now of put options. Let's get some real numbers, a uh, real example behind it. Yeah, so like we did uh, last week, I want to jump into WebBroker because it, it gives you a sense of what the numbers are. You can look at the numbers on a particular stock. Um, so if you happen to own Bank of America and you bought it quite a while ago, maybe if you bought it at uh, a $20 number, it's at around $29.71. And maybe if you're a little bit worried that it was going to drop, you could actually look at an option chain. So you click on this options chain here. And we're going to be on the right side today where we're going to be looking on the puts on the right side. And then we want to select a time frame too. Let's say if you were a little bit worried in the next couple of months, you could look at, say, January 16th. As soon as I click on that, it's going to tell me the number of days, so roughly around 53 days. You can use this drop down to go a little bit further. But what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to this green line, and we're looking at this put or bid and ask column is what we want to look at. These are the prices for the options. So it's not too bad where if we're close to this green line, if we go at $29, we could go to $30. We can see these prices in these columns right here. $1.25, which would be $125, would be that cost, that little premium you'd pay to protect yourself to sell, to be able to guarantee that you can sell the stock at $30 within that 53 days if it does drop significantly. So if you looked at one even a little bit lower, like a $29, you can now lock in that $29 sale price for a bit cheaper. It's going to cost you $0.83, cents, which is $83, or $54 if we look at that $0.54 cents and so on. 
So the premiums are a little bit lower because Bank of America is not an extremely volatile stock. But if you did anticipate a you know a potential drop in the stock in the next uh, couple months, this is a, is a way to protect it where you now have in your hands the ability to force someone else to buy your shares at that higher price if it does happen to drop in the market. Okay, so now the understanding with our audience is that perhaps some protection here from downside. Is this something you'd want to do with every stock in your portfolio? I would say it's not very practical from a cost perspective, Greg. You could do it, um, but just as you notice there with that Bank of America, it'd be costing you roughly around about 80, 80 some dollars at, on the one that's a little bit below the current price. We went around to like $55 for one that's a little bit lower. So you'd want to gauge, okay, is this going to be cost effective for yourself, depending on how many port or how many uh, positions you have or stocks you have in your portfolio. What you could do as well is if your portfolio represented a certain index like the TSX or um, the S&P 500, something like that, you could find an index ETF as an example, and you could buy a put option on that. And that may represent a, you know, just your whole portfolio. If it does drop significantly, you might be able to make enough money to sell that put if things do drop to offset some of the losses in your account. Before I let you go, I want to remind everyone that TD Direct Investing is holding an options month in May where the audience can join in. Tell us briefly about options month. Yeah, we're all really super excited about this, Greg, uh, especially us instructors as well. We have uh, what are called master classes. So if you're brand new to options and you want to learn what they are and um, you know get some more experience with this, or even if you have some experience with options, we're going to go into some more higher level content. But it's an entire month where we're going to have webinars with live industry experts. We're going to have um, you know, uh, instructors such as myself teaching classes where you can ask questions and we'll have uh, all kinds of different videos and everything all related to options. You can register at www.td.com slash OEM and uh, see if you can find something you, you're really looking for. That was Brian Rogers, Senior Client Education Instructor with TD Direct Investing, speaking with Greg Bennell. And a reminder, I want to emphasize that while the goal of today's segment is to educate you on options, you need to decide for yourself on whether trading options is right for you in terms of risk profile, amount of time you have, your resources, just to name a few considerations. And information we provide does not constitute financial, legal, tax, or investment advice. Up next, Greg is here in person. He hasn't just been speaking to Brian Rogers. He's also spoke with Kathy Wood of Ark Invest about chat GPT, AI in general, and all the impact that's already being felt. You're watching Money Talk. We'll be right back. <laughs>